Hello everybody, we're back here on Prehistoric Hunt, and today we are going to search for some more albinos and melanistics and uh, look for our very first legendary dinosaur. Now, I was thinking about doing a video on the bow in the game, however, amongst uh, the time that I was testing the bow, I realized that this thing is pretty bad. And the fact that I was able to die to a Triceratops multiple times before killing it, I think that explains just how bad this bow is. And because of that, it really makes me not want to do a video on it. However, I've decided that since you guys probably will want to see a video with the bow, even though I don't want to do it, if we can get around 50 comments talking about how you would like to see me use the bow, then we'll do it, even though I really don't want to. But I suppose that if we get to that point, then most likely it's something that you guys want to see. So we'll do it, provided we can get to the 50 comments. But without further ado, let's go search for some diamonds and rares, and I believe we see our very first, uh, very first trophy of the day. Well, there's an Ankylosaurus. Let's see if we can get a couple shots into it to take it down real quickly with the 700. Let's just line up, although... It's kind of angled downwards, which is not ideal. Most of the time, those shots are not good ones to take, so we might wait a little bit. Here we go. Let's try this. Yeah, it didn't work as I was hoping it would, so... There we go. Finally got it down. Took three shots, though, which is not ideal. But I suppose sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's, uh, check to see what this guy scored. Just a silver, so nothing too crazy. This guy just keeps on running away, so I think we're just gonna take the shot from right here at kind of a weird off angle. Or he'll turn around completely and we can no longer see the vitals. That seems about right. There we go, now it's eating, so this will make it much easier to get close enough to take the shots. And there we go. Two shots into its side, let's uh, get it to turn around and drop two more into its chest. So that should be full integrity, I would imagine, or very close to full integrity. And it did score gold as well, so not a bad one. So I just accepted a tracked dino quest, and it seems that this right here is our tracked dino, and it is a brachio. So let's see if we can get lined up on it good. We should be able to make a, a nice, uh, clean, broadside shot from here. Let's do that real quickly. I'm hoping that one of these days we can just get these things down in like two, maybe three hits if we get good enough at hitting the heart. I mean, to be honest, that could have been a hard shot right there even. Well, let's see what this guy scores. Hopefully it'll be better than the last one. And it's once again a gold, but we can now fill this contract. Unfortunately, none of those were heart shots. We really got to figure out where the heart is on all of these uh, different dinos. That way we can get more reliable quick kills. Because I'd really prefer to be using the smaller guns so that we can get a higher score. But in a lot of cases, I'm just not good enough to hit the heart yet. So we got to get uh, a little bit more experience with where everything's placed. And then I think we'll be able to start doing it. Well, that little dude came out of nowhere. I don't think it was going to be anything crazy, but, you know, if if it's going to walk past us, we might as well take it down. Since we don't get too many chances to take down a Packy. If we could get a diamond one, that would be pretty sick, and it's just a silver, but... Hopefully one of these days, one of these random ones that we take down will end up being a diamond. That way we can put it in our lodge. You know, honestly, I think I'm going to shift our primary goal today to be to find a rare Spino. Because we really have not found a lot of good Spinos. We had a, one Spino hunt where we got a couple decent trophies, but I still don't have an Albino or a Melanistic for them. And I've only had a couple Diamonds, and uh, neither of them were when I'm just recording like this. Both of them were taken on live stream, so if we could find one right now and possibly find a rare, that would be really nice. So I think we're going to spend the rest of this video searching for rare Spinosaurus. Oh my gosh, there's a Spino right there. Is that our tracked dino? It might be our tracked dino. Well, regardless, let's get a few shots into it and see what we can do. It's uh, definitely going to be coming over here, it seems. I also see a Carno off in the distance over there. 
But we're a little bit more focused on the Spino at the moment, so... Let's see if we can get a few shots into it from right here. And maybe drop it. The first one definitely hit. I don't know about the second one. That one definitely hit. There we go. We got it down. Not as pretty as I would have liked. 87% on the integrity. But I don't think it was a very big one regardless. This track dino will not stop running away. I really don't know what to do at this point. We're just going to have to continue sprinting until we catch up to it. Because it, it just keeps on booking it. it. It just will not stop. And I don't know if we're going to be able to catch up to it anytime soon really. It's looking like it's just going to keep on running. Honestly, I'm going to give up on this. This is just, it, it's too much running. I think what I'm going to do instead of worrying about that track dino is just go down to this lake as I have not been here in a very long time. So I don't even know what could be down there. Maybe we will find some spinos. That's really what I'm hoping for. But even if we don't, there should at least be a couple dinos. Wait a second. There's a point of interest down here. How have I not discovered this one before? I mean, I guess that's good. What do we have right here? Oh, it's one of the notes. Okay, so we found Preton 8. What a view on Petit Lock at sundown. I can't stop admiring the beauty of this. Oh, so remote island. The French explorers must have loved this. I can't wait to see us getting everything ready. Did you say it's going to be ready in two years? Interesting. So, we found that. I guess it wasn't a point of interest like I thought it was, but it was a note, so it's at least something that we haven't seen before. Oh my gosh, here we go. Always with the pteranodons, man. They just show up every single episode. Oh no, what is that? Oh, that's a Rex. Let's get down if we can. Get in the water. I don't know if it's going to save us, but we'll try. Oh my gosh, it actually works. It actually worked. There's no way. Come on. Ah, no. It's over the hill now. I mean, we at least survived. It's good to know that, that is an option. When you run into a Rex and can't kill it, if you're near water, you can hide in the water. There goes nothing. Round two. Oh no, here it comes again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we got it. There's no way that that just played out like that. Oh my gosh. That was way too close of a call. But uh, it made for a very interesting encounter, so... I think in the end, it worked out pretty well for us. Oh my gosh. Oh, that, that poor Triceratops. It is getting absolutely mauled by a Carno. You know, I love the dino versus dino interactions in this game. They're honestly so well done. That Triceratops was just here for a late night drink and out of nowhere, a Carno comes around and just starts absolutely mauling it. That was crazy to see. Maybe we can go over there and get that Carno since it uh, is distracted by that trike. Uh-oh, I hear it. It is right above us. Come on. Let's back up a little bit. We got it in three hits. 
Much better than a lot of these encounters have gone today. We got lung on all of those. Wow. So it is possible to get double lung on the Karno with the 700. So that's nice to see. And it did score gold. So not a bad one. Oh, gosh. That <laughs> came out of nowhere. Oh, my gosh. I looked down on my phone for like two seconds. And this happens. Well, let's see what it is. It's a bronze <laughs> common. Didn't get good integrity, but that's to be expected as we use the 700 on it. But my gosh, that scared me so bad. I didn't know what was going on for a second there. I think I hear a sleeping dino. Oh, there's definitely one that's sleeping. You know, maybe we can do this and just sneak up on it. This is basically like a makeshift blind that you can use to get closer to dinos. And it works pretty well. So let's see if we can sneak up on whatever this is. Without dying. Okay, so it's a Triceratops. There's actually two of them. Three! Oh my. What is it? What is it doing to them? Well, we got the rare. Uh, just scored gold, unfortunately. But now we got to chase these down. I didn't think they'd run since we were so close. I thought they would attack us. I think we got at least one more hit into that one. Yeah, he's charging us now. Eighty percent, so still not a very good uh, amount of integrity. I guess for smaller stuff like the trikes, we really just can't use the 700 if we want to get full score. Just not going to be possible. Well, I hear something. Maybe it's just the trike, though. I thought I heard something a little bit bigger, but I, I guess not. Well, let's... Oh, no, I did hear something bigger. Oh, oh, gosh, no. Oh, this is terrible. Gosh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that was just really unlucky. Not, not too much else that we could have done there. That was just purely bad luck. Well, I, I don't like the sound of that either. I think that might be a Spino though, which is really what I wanted to go for today. So I guess we'll head over there and see. Definitely sounded like a Spino. It is. It is a Spino. Perfect. And we actually got a couple solid hits into it already. Definitely gotta go better than that Rex encounter did. Come on. There we go. Five shots and it's down. Uh, this one looks like it's just a common, so... Nothing too crazy, but 91% integrity. 536, a good gold. Oh my gosh, there's another one on our way. Well, this is working out better than I thought it would. Sure, we died to a Rex, but it led us to the Spinos. So I guess it's not all bad in the end. Wow, three hits and it's dead. You know, we're probably going to get a decent score on this one. Let's see, do we have at least a diamond maybe? It's a silver. 66% integrity. Oh, wow. Okay, so it fought a Giga at some point. That explains why the integrity is so low. Well, I think we found the Giga that lost to that Spino over there. Yeah, Spinosaurus, five hits to the head. That is crazy. You know, like I was saying earlier, I love that that is a thing in the game. I love that the dinos can interact with each other and fight. 
And you can just randomly find the, uh, the corpses of the deceased dinos that were killed by other dinos. Let's get this, uh, Brachio as we run over to grab our gear. Because it is on our way, so we might as well. And just like that, five shots and it's down. We're doing pretty decent with the longer range Brachio kills, at least. Though, uh, not doing great with the close range Rex kills, that's for sure. Well, let's see what we got here. 94% integrity, a gold Brachiosaurus. Uh, just medium scale, though. Uh, to be honest, probably could have scored diamond if it was a uh, large scale. Well, I found our gear, and no dead Rex in sight, so... I guess it got away. I was hoping it would die from the bleed, but... Does not look like that's the case at all. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Unfortunately, I didn't find any crazy trophies today, but we did have a few Rex encounters and a few Spino encounters, which was pretty nice. Hopefully we can get some trophies of them in the future, as a rare Spino is definitely my dream trophy. Same for Rexes, they would be pretty amazing. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!